Once in a small village, there lived a poor boy named Cato. He worked on the street and did any work as he had to earn money for school and rent. And he also helped his mother to buy food one day. While doing his usual daily routine, he was very tired and hungry. He looked the nearest bakery where they were selling delicious buns he once tasted, and he really liked them. He wanted to buy some buns, so he decided to go into the bakery. This is what he deserved after his long day at work at the door. He stopped for a moment and checked his pockets to see if he had some money. He realized that he only had one coin. His stomach begged for food, but the boy did not have enough money to buy even the smallest piece of bread. So he decided to continue going on without food, but his hunger tormented him and it was so strong that he decided to do something to make him feel extremely embarrassed and ashamed. But the wild hunger pushed him to ask for food in the next house. After spending a few minutes practicing this, he knocked on the door. When it opened, the boy could not do what he had intended to do when a sweet young girl opened the door. The boy, getting nervous and not knowing what to do, asked for only a glass of water instead of some food. This strange request from the boy surprised the girl, but she decided that the boy must be hungry and therefore, instead of water, offered him a glass of milk and a pan. Cato, embarrassed, ate the bun and drank the milk and asked, How much do I owe you? You do not owe me anything, she said, smiling. My mother taught me to never ask for money. Thank you very much. The boy answered when he left the house. He not only felt stronger, but he also felt that his faith in people had grown greatly. This girl's gesture motivated him to continue going, and to achieve his goal, he dreamed of finishing his studies and becoming a successful person in order to be able to help his mother and all the other people who needed him. Many years later, that young and sweet girl became seriously ill. Local doctors were confused. They had never seen such a case before, as they were not able to help her. They sent her to a large city, where the best doctors examined her, but no one could understand the cause of the disease. Dr. Cato was the first specialist to find out the reason of the problem. When he saw the name of the village where the patient had been brought, from it aroused his curiosity, and he decided to go and see her. On the way, he kept thinking about it, and although the man could not even imagine whom the report was talking about, he quickly walked to her, coming in to see her. He could not believe his eyes right in front of him. There was that girl about whom he thought so much. Of course, she was no longer so young. However, she was still beautiful from her room. The doctor returned to the staff room and said that he would do everything possible to save the woman's life. One night, while he was at his home, he received a call from the hospital. The woman became much worse and she was barely hanging on. The doctors were able to save her life, but she was still in danger at any moment the woman could die. The doctor was anxious he could not lose this patient. He had to do everything possible to save her life. The next day he visited her, her body was connected to several machines, her skin seemed completely white, and her heart was beating so softly it was almost impossible to trace a week past, and the patient's condition did not improve at all. Dr. Cato was already about to lose hope whatever treatment was prescribed to her. The woman did not get better at all. He decided it was time to disconnect her from the life support devices but before doing this, he sat down next to her and said that he knew how valuable her life was. He also added that whoever she was, he should help her as a young girl once helped him when he was still a little boy. The man was about to leave, but having finished his words, he saw the woman move her finger. It meant that there was hope. After several weeks, a signal appeared that the patient did not want to die either. She wanted to live with all her heart, and she was not going to give up. The doctor got up and left the room with a smile on his face. He could do it. He could save her. 
Another week passed and the head doctor of the hospital came up to him and said that they should disconnect her from the machines. The woman could not be saved. Her chances of waking up were less than a percent and it was also a huge expense for the hospital. Dr. Cato tried asking the head doctor not to do this and he asked him to give him one last chance. He promised that in just a few days she would come to her senses, although he was not quite sure about it. At least he had some more time to help her. The physician agreed to give him one last opportunity. It was all or nothing, but a few hours later, a miracle happened after a long battle. The doctor managed to cure her within two weeks. The woman recovered completely when she was ready to go home. Dr. Cato asked the hospital staff to show him the bill for the treatment. It was huge, but with a slight smile on his face, the man wrote something on the bill before it was given to the woman. Nurse gave her the bill, however, the woman was very afraid to look at the total amount of money because she did not have very much. Surely the bill for the treatment was so expensive that she would have to work to pay it off for the rest of her life. Finally, the woman looked at the bill. However, she immediately noticed something strange at the end of the bill. It was written, paid by a glass of milk and a pan. Sincerely, Dr. Cato, she could not believe it. The doctor who saved her life was that little boy who had knocked on her door one day and asked for a glass of water, tears ran down the woman's face. So it may seem insignificant, but such an act of hers once changed a person's life and motivated him to achieve his goal. If the girl had not helped the boy in a difficult situation, perhaps he would have never become the doctor who saved her life. That is all for today. If you liked this story, be sure to share it with your friends and family. See you later.